Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video number or class number 31, we are going to understand one more error nowadays in Next.js 13, get static props is not supported in app. Get static props function we used in Next.js 12 and past version for static site generation. But now if I use this function in Next.js 13, it generate the error. So in this video, we are going to understand what is the use of get static props function in Next.js 12 and before version. And now what is the error that is coming in Next.js 13 version that is get static props is no longer supported. And what is the alternative of this? in the latest version of Next.js 13 that we are going to learn. So let's go in practical environment. Here under a web route group, I create one more route. I say SSG static site generation and under this I create same page.js and here I write RAFCA and you see that I have the component here I will show you the use of get static props in in Next.js 12 and before version and what is the error in next version. So I say h4 and I say example of get static props in Next.js 12 or before. You see now this is the page and I have to add it in my navigation also. So just simply I copy and I paste it and I see SSG here SSG. Save this. How to get how to create this navbar? I have explained in my previous video. You can follow those. You see we have SSG. If I click here, I have example of get static props in next year's 12 and before now we make a coding so here i say export const get static props equal to remember creating this function and here i make it async also because it used like this now i need the library this rest api to fetch data and that's why i use const and here i say uh, data equal to fetch under this I provide the information in double quotes like this then after that I say const q data equal to data dot json remember that this is json library so we have to use await also like this and here I need await also then I need here the data from this so i say quotes all the quotes will come here i say q data dot quotes why quotes if you go to the library you see there is a quotes which have the all the quotes now we return a value i say return under this we have a props under this props i need to return a quotes just like a get server side component just like a get server side props function we used for server side rendering similar concept we use for static side generation also but this is the different types of pre-rendering that is different types of pre-rendering so you see that we are passing this and now we can read this information of quotes here and i can display this here console dot log and i say quotes here but if I execute it, you see, get a static props. This is the same concept which we used in Next.js 12 and before version, but it is 13 version and we have a error. Error is, you see, it is 13.5.3 version of Next.js and you see we have a error. Get static props is not supported in app routing. Read this documentation. So this is not possible to have static site generation by using get static props function in Next.js 13 and above version. Remember that. Now these are the three questions in this video. What is the use of get static props function in Next.js 12 and before I have explained you all the code 
that is the same if you run in Next.js 12 and before it will run completely without any error but in 13 version it's saying get static props is not supported in app or no longer use now question is what is the alternative of this in Next.js 13 remember that this get static props is a part of static site generation that has been converted to static rendering in next js 13 for that we use fetch function how to use this fetch function i am going to explain in next videos watch the same playlist and you will understand all types of pre-rendering how we implement in next js 13 and above version if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video